loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelique if you are new here and we are going to be decorating in today's video. I'm so excited because on Black Friday and Cyber Monday I found a few staple items like decor pieces for the house and it's all coming together so I am excited because it all arrived so I'm going to show you guys what they are. So let's go ahead and get decorating and show you guys where the house is at. All right, so this video is gonna be filled with so many great additions to the house. Now it is gonna span over like a month. So like the holidays and a little bit after because I was waiting for many things to arrive to put together for you guys. So this first edition, I am so excited to share with you guys. We are going to be updating our shower head to an amazing piece of technology that'll help us with our water savings, which is really important everywhere, but especially here in Hawaii, everyone's just really conscious and conservative. So something like this, having it in our home just is like a Another thing that we don't even have to think about, but we're helping the environment, which is pretty cool. Now I've actually teamed up with Nibia to share with you guys the new Nibia by Moen. Now this version isn't even out yet, but you guys will actually have access to it via Kickstarter and at a special price. But I will explain that a little bit later. First, let's open it up and see what we have in this box. Okay. Now their theory is if you can change a light bulb, you can install the Nibia by Moen. <laughs> I'm going to be testing that theory today because it's just me in here attaching a shower head, which I've never done before. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I watched a few videos already to kind of have an idea of what I'm doing before I even get in here. So we have the setup guide. Oh wow, that's pretty. Alright, well I'm going to get started and install the Nibia by Moen, starting now. So while I'm installing the shower head, I just wanted to share with you guys a few cool things about Nibia. So Nibia's mission is to transform how people interact with water by building interactive products that people love and that are better for the planet. And something else that I absolutely love is you don't need to sacrifice your comfort to save water. Nibia by Moen is a better shower experience with two times greater coverage than standard showers. This is also Nibia's warmest shower yet, and it also gives a rejuvenating, steamy, spa-like experience. Not to mention effective rinsing. Now I'm going to be testing all of this out, but I'm not going to lie, this sounds pretty good to me. Yay! I did it! I did it! I attached the Nibia by Moen! Let's test it and see how I did. No way! Crazy, it works. Okay. <laughs> okay, now that I have successfully installed the Nivea by Moen, I wanted to kind of share with you like my thoughts on the installation process. It was super simple. They actually have click together features, so that way as you're going, it's just literally like you click it into place, you hear it click and you know you can move on that the connection has been made. So that made it very, very simple. I didn't need any plumbing tools. The only thing I needed to go grab was plumber's tape and that was it. So their theory that if you can change a light bulb, you can install this was actually true. I can change a light bulb and I can install the shower head. Now I also wanted to share that they have three different finishes. They have black, they have nickel, and then they have chrome. So I obviously went with the black as you can tell because everything in my bathroom is black and white. So I wanted to continue with that theme and it looks very, very nice. It definitely like ups the shower because we don't have a walk-in. So it kind of gives us the same type of like spa-like feel but now just in our normal shower. Now I'm gonna test out this thorough engineering in the morning and let you know my final thoughts on the actual shower experience. So I'll be back in the morning with my thoughts and more about the Kickstarter. Good morning, I just took my first shower in my new Nivea by Bowen and I have to say I'm really impressed with the shower head and the spa-like experience that it gives. And to be honest, I'm kind of confused how it uses less water because it really does give you great coverage and I felt like it was really effective in the rinsing off process. So. I'm kind of blown by the technology. So I'm really excited for Sawyer and all of our guests to take a shower in it and hear their feedback as well because I have a feeling they'll like it. So just to wrap this all up, Nibia's goal is to bring the best and most sustainable shower to as many people as possible. Like I mentioned before, early access to the Nibia by Moan will be available on Kickstarter starting January 21st through February 27th at the best price ever, and the first thousand backers will be receiving their units in March 2020. And of course, I will link everything for the Kickstarter and Nibia by Moan down below for your convenience. So if you are in need of a new shower head and you wanna be sustainable and save some water on your bill and on the planet, <laughs> Go ahead and check that out below. Now let's continue decorating. Yeah. Oh. 
So one of the main items I have been looking for since like the day we moved in was an entry table. And I finally found one. I found one on All Modern. It's super simple and pretty, and I'm excited for it to like fit perfectly right here. So my lovely boyfriend is going to build the entry table while I go to an appointment. Boyfriend of the Year Award. We just got Disney Plus. Not trying to be relatable, just reliving all my favorite movies. <laughs> oh, am I building it here on yeah, camera? Yeah, uh -huh. gonna go center between this and logo. So I just walked in and saw the table and I am so happy. I wanted something that was very clean, elegant, it was light wood but it still had some character and it was really really well priced so I'm really really happy about it and even Sawyer likes it so that's a win. Do you really I like approve. it? I love it. Yay! I will have to decorate it and mess with it more but let me grab the one thing I did get for the table. Hold tight. Okay, so something I grabbed for the table is this really pretty lamp. It is also from Target, but it's like a shell tiling, if that makes sense. It's actually described as shell on their website. Um, but I just thought it was really pretty and elegant to have an extra light um, on the entrance table. So yeah, let's set this up. I got this bowl from Target and shells from TJ Maxx, because that makes sense. And then at TJ Maxx, they also had this corally piece. Again, I'm gonna need to find more things, but this is the initial start. I'm sure we'll add some picture frames and like a basket and a few other things, but how freaking cute. I'm yeah. happy. Today's project is going to start hanging up the picture wall. Now, Sawyer and I have about like maybe 20-ish, maybe even 30 frames sitting in the corner over here. And we just wanted to create a really big like uh, memory photo wall. So yeah, we're gonna start placing some frames today. And this is a huge thing off of our list. We wanted to collect a lot of frames and have an idea like what we wanted before we just did it. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna, we're gonna hang some frames. I'm excited, this is like a big thing, like no more empty white wall. Let's do it. Okay, so it's been a few hours since I saw you guys. I got distracted by a Christmas tree, also a run to Target to get more frames. Um, it's been a busy day, but Sawyer and I are just kind of uh, messing around with the frames now. He already hung the three main ones, and then we have some other four by sixes, five by sevens that we are now going to see where we would like to hang. But we thought it was very crucial to get the three main ones up so that way we could figure out what goes where. Guys, we're finishing the photo wall today. Very excited. We went and got more frames and yeah, we can complete this wall now. So we got an exciting delivery today. Oh, I'm really, really, really excited to open up this box. Um, this box is from All's Well. Now, as you guys know, they had sent us mattresses and towels, and they had some new arrivals come in, so they were sweet enough to send them over, so that way I can show you guys what they look like. So the first thing they sent over is the All's Well Throw. It is a stone-washed cotton, so it's kind of like a waffle material. Now, I have one other blanket by them, and Hitch has taken it over. It is his personal blanket to sleep with, so I'm very excited to have another one. And I like that this one's cotton, so it's a little bit thinner. The other one I have is wool, so this one will be really nice and light on the couch. Oh my gosh, Sawyer's gonna be so excited about these. So recently, Allswell just launched their like bathroom line, like bathroom textiles. And the last video, you guys saw that we got the towels, and then they sent over these nice little robes. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm in a hotel. It's like all white and waffle and pretty. I'm just, oh my gosh. So I have one, and then 
Sawyer has one. <laughs> in fact, he's in the shower. I just heard him say yay. So I'm gonna bring it to him so that way he can test it out. Hey Sawyer, I'm gonna put it outside your door. Boom, cute, love it. Okay, the next thing they sent over is some new sheets for the master bedroom. And this is the sateen organic cotton sheets. And I'm gonna wash these and put them on tomorrow. Oh, this color's gonna be perfect in there. Uh, they recently just launched like some new bedding. And so this is a new color, new texture, new everything. So when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, that'll look so pretty in the bedroom. I normally do like white duvet, so I have their white duvet on right now. But I just wanted to mix it up and try something different and add a little bit more color and texture. So I have the king duvet here with two pillowcases. And as you can see, it's kind of like a light tan, like an, I think they call it ecru, ecru like cream. Anyways, it has like a diamond texture going through it. So it kind of looks like quilted, but like very subtly. So I'm excited to get these all washed and tomorrow I will make the bed and show you guys how it all turns out. All right, so I spent all day like cleaning and resetting the house. Um, while I was doing that, I washed all the all's well sheets and the new duvet. So I thought it'd be the perfect time to switch it out and see what it looks like. So that way I can clean what is also on this bed. So it's kind of just like a get things done kind of day. So we're gonna go ahead and remake the bed and see how the new duvet looks. And I can't wait to sleep in it tonight because it feels so good. All right, switching it now. I just have to say, I am very particular when it comes to my sheets. I really like everything to be snug and tight. And I was really, really impressed with how snug the fitted sheet was on the mattress. Now I have the All's Well mattress and the All's Well sheets, so I kind of figured they would fit perfectly. But I was really, really impressed with how tight that elastic on the bottom pulled it. So as somebody who cares about that, I was impressed. Okay, now let's put on the duvet. And then this duvet came with two pillowcases that match. Now I normally don't put on like matching ones, I just normally do all my white. But I figured since it came with it, I'm gonna switch them out and use them kind of more as decor. Um, let's see. I'm worn out. <laughs> this is what the bed looks like. I am so impressed. It looks so good. It matches my rug. It matches the bed. I already had some blankets that were kind of this color, so it's nice to mix it up and have different options. I love my white duvet, but I also wanted something with texture and a little bit different, so that way I can break it up and mix it up when I want to. So I'm really, really excited about this. Yay! Ah, it looks so good. Ah, making beds always takes it out. <laughs> this purchase was a little unexpected. Um, <laughs> Kara and I were supposed to be heading straight to Costco to get stuff for Christmas dinner. And we, by we, I mean I accidentally took a wrong turn and somehow ended up at Pier 1, which was having a closing the store sale, which I did not know about, but it happened. We're like, mm, let's just go in and see what they got. No intention, uh, we walked by the rugs and Karen's like, this is pretty. And we asked how much and it was 30% off. So, we came home with a rug. <laughs> One of the last items we needed to like, kind of complete the house, like just in the terms of like, the base decor, was um, a rug for the uh, living room. So we are gonna put this under the couch and see how it looks. I'm really excited to show you guys what it looks like little sneak peek um, but yeah I'm really excited that I found one on sale and that we found one before the year ended candles were also 20% off so we got three different scents here and then I've seen so many people use these as decorations they're just like those wooden beads wooden garland so I figured it'd be pretty on the entrance table or on I don't know somewhere I might need to look up on Pinterest how people use these but it was also on sale yeah Let's roll out the rug now. Yeah. I mean, the rug looks fabulous. Gee, I'm so happy. Actually, uh, guys, just so you know, I had no intention of getting a rug this video, like for this decorating video. My mom actually was supposed to give me her rug because she was supposed to get a new one. And then she decided to keep both of them. So I was like, oh no, I don't have a rug. Oh, is that what Yeah, because she ordered one and she's like, never mind, I like both of them. And I'm like, no! But now we have one! 
I didn't want a rug that was just fringe. I didn't want a rug that was like shag. I really had something specific. I really wanted the ones with like texture. See how this is like woven and has texture. I really wanted something with a pattern and texture. I don't know if that makes sense, but now I got it. Yay. All right, the next project is to hang the photos in the guest bedroom. Now, I got these prints from Dizinio. These are the two that we got for the guest room. So pretty. Um, so yeah, we're just going to quickly measure and put them above the bed. And yeah, let's do it. So you might be wondering why I have blue tape on the wall. Something I highly recommend doing is like taping out the photos like the exact um, measurements so that way you have an idea of what will fit, how it works, all that. So that is what I did before I ordered my photos from Dizinio. So now we're going to hang them. Okay, the photos are finally hung. That is the last thing in the guest room. I might need to fix the heights a little bit, but they are hung. So here's the finished product. Looks so good. These prints are from Dizinio, so everything will be linked down below. They have great prints. I used them in my office and the bathroom and they look so nice. All right, so one of the home improvements that we are making today is adding in a fence. Um, my mom found the best handyman out here and he's great with fences. She just got her fences done and now he is doing ours and it looks so good. Boom. Okay, so he almost finished the gate. It just has to like clean it up and like finish details, but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Ta-da! We have a gate. <laughs> Nothing that crazy except for the fact that he did such a great job and matched the fence we already had and it rolls so we can still get cars through and it looks really good. It looks so good. Now we have like our own little private nook back here. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it looks good. Good job. We did nothing. We did absolutely nothing. All right, guys, so I am so excited right now. For Christmas, my dad had got me and Sawyer a grill. That was like our housewarming Christmas present. But I am so freaking excited because we have been wanting a grill ever since we moved in. And honestly, it was really special coming from my dad because growing up, he always grilled and that was like one thing that I knew him for. He was just like a master griller. Um, so now every time I grill, I'll think of him. So my dad actually helped me pick out the grill because it, I knew nothing about grills. So they had one at Costco. We picked it up yesterday. It was the last one on the island, so I got very, very, very lucky. Um, but now it's in a big box. They didn't have one put together. And apparently, this thing is gonna take me quite a minute to put together. So we are going to start this process now because I really want to grill tonight. Yay! Has some like new technology called iGrill and it like connects to your iPhone and there's like an app and you can like use a thermometer and I don't know but I'm so freaking excited. Okay, cool. That's that. Assembly guide. This is what we need. Okay. This is gonna be a minute. All right, so the building of the grill is starting. <laughs> As you can tell. Here's a time lapse of this happening. Guys, the grill is built. The boys did it. Oh my god. That was awesome. Anyways, we're still figuring it out, but we have a grill. I'm so excited. Yay! Well, loves, that is it. That is the end of another home decor and home improvement video. I am very, very happy with how everything turned out. We have a grill, we have a new shower head, we have new bedding. It's a very, very successful video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. And also, I will link everything down below for your convenience, including the Nibia by Moen and everything else in the video. So go ahead and check that out down there. But that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.